Good morning, everybody. We're looking at 54 degrees in the city. Notice that the dew point is 54, so we're at 100% humidity, and that means that we probably are going to see some fog in the city. So far, so good. Yesterday, we were at 80. We'll be again at about 80 degrees today, as uh, very little has changed in our weather pattern. The uh, fog inland is uh, already beginning to get a little bit thick, especially in places where the temperature has fallen down into the upper 40s. So let's take a look at that map. We got quarter mile visibility in Beeville, quarter mile Orange Grove. Well, the fairly good uh, visibility there in Alice momentarily, but one quarter mile in the Kingsville area. In the city, we seem to be doing okay, but if we drop another degree or so, we're going to start seeing it in develop here as well. So inland right now, but later this morning, we may have something uh, along the coast. Another sunny, warm day as we're waiting for uh, one of several frontal systems coming toward our area. This is not going to be a huge cool down, but it's going to be something. Right now, it's basically a big windstorm uh, in the Rockies. It's really not dropping that much rain. It looks like uh, the moisture got cut off there for a moment. Uh, so there's more moisture out to sea, but right now there's not a lot of snow uh, in the Sierra. This frontal system will be dragging through our area, and that will knock the temperature down a bit beginning on Wednesday, tomorrow. Uh, you'll feel the north wind by tomorrow night. As I mentioned, uh, the storm is a big wind storm, but the precipitation is fairly little. All of these little colors here, these are advisories for wind problems um, and, and in the upper elevations, but the snow uh, is not part particularly heavy right now. Here's a, a better view. You know, in the blue, that's where the heavy moisture is. In the brown, it's where it's dry. Well, right about here, you see how we sort of cut down on the amount of moisture between Colorado and northern Mexico, but as we widen up, we see that there is a big plume of tropical moisture coming out across the Pacific, and then eventually it'll get caught up in these upper winds. Uh, speaking of the Pacific, where do you think this is? The snow, it's coming down. It's cold, it's winter. Mauna Loa, Hawaii, folks, can you believe it? At the upper elevations, of course, you know, they have mountains, 10,000 footers. Um, so everybody thinks, well, Hawaii beach and all that good stuff, but at the top of the uh, observation towers, and I've been to Mauna Loa, uh, I've been to that uh, observatory there, uh, they're getting all kinds of wind and snow. So as the storm comes through, it gets rained down to the lower elevations, but the peak of the mountains get that uh, little bit of coverage of snow in paradise. Can you believe it? Well, today, another dry day. We'll be uh, getting up to about 82. Frontal system Wednesday. Not much of a front, but as you can see, it'll drop us down to the lower 70s. Uh, we've got to clear out just a few clouds associated with the frontal passage. By Friday, we'll be at 76, and that's about it. Another front comes through to keep us on the dry side. The next, for the third front, believe it or not, on Monday may just have enough cloud cover for a little light rain, but at this point in time, that's a long way off. Generally speaking, we're going to call it a little cooler and mostly sunny for the next five days.